women's rights activist Lujain Al Hathlu released from Saudi prison. <laughs> yes. I, do people know what Rivka is doing when she does that? Oh, if they're not, they need to get with the program. Okay, okay. All right, continue, <laughs> continue, continue. I can do it pretty well myself. Anyways, um, so Lu Jane Al Haslu, the Saudi activist who gained international attention as she publicly opposed the ban on female drivers in the nation, was placed in custody by the Saudi government in May of 2018 due to her activism. She was initially detained in 2014 for over two months when she posted a video of herself online as she attempted to drive from the United Arab Emirates to uh, into the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Um, in December 2020, she was sentenced to nearly six years by a special Saudi court ordinarily reserved only for terrorism, I'm using coded language, reserved only for terrorism and threats to Saudi's national security. By that time, she had already served over 1,001 days of confinement. She was accused of using the internet to stir up controversy and for seeking out foreign involvement, charges that human rights groups saw as politically motivated. The timing of her release indicates the likelihood the Saudi government is attempting to appease President Biden. Biden recently requested a quote-unquote reassessment of the U.S.-Saudi relationship due to Saudi's record of human rights violations. So this is fantastic news. There are a lot of aspects to this, though, that I want to cover. Um, so one aspect of this is that um, she was sentenced in December after her court had her, her case had been in one court system for a long time and then very suddenly it was moved to this terrorism court and then within I about a month of being moved to this terrorism court she was sentenced to six years now or five to six years now because of the time that she had already served in confinement the um she she was allowed to have her sentence or the, the her continued confinement um, diminished based on the idea of time served because she had been in prison. Sentence based on her. Thank you. Yeah, commuted. Yeah. Um, because she had already been in prison since 2018. Um, and so that means that she was supposed to get released this March. Actually, um, however, she has been released early, and this is fantastic. Um, so one thing, I mean, honestly, so I, I'm going to show you guys some pictures in a second. Um, I cried about this earlier today. I was just thinking about everything this woman has been through. Um, she's been horrifically tortured in prison, waterboarded, electrocuted, beaten until she was blue and can hardly stand. She, um, was sexually abused in prison for years right she um undertook a number of hunger strikes throughout her confinement um often to demand um visitation rights with her family um and now like as soon as the like very quickly when the Biden administration came through the front door, now she's released early. Now I do want to be clear that she has to still remain. She can't travel outside of the country for, I think about, I think she's on parole for about three years and then she can't exit the country for about five years. Um, and people analysts are um, viewing this basically as a way to disincentivize her from activism at least for the next several years. Um, but it's fantastic news that she was released early. And I think it is even more fantastic that actions like this, that are the release of an individual, do not, are seemingly so far, are not coming at the cost of the U.S. turning a blind eye to the millions of people that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is persecuting with their ongoing conflict with Yemen and how they have weaponized mass starvation. Okay, so I think it's important to highlight 
that um you <laughs> Armin in the corner like yes queen <laughs> so uh the often Bring it. it's very easy for things like this to um get all the shine because it is incredible right this woman is a freaking warrior so it is incredible that she's released but they can also be seen as highly um as marketing in a sense for the regime to show oh look at like what we're doing we released her early we commuted this sentence you know like trying to somehow cater in their favor um and, and in an effort to distract from the even uglier stuff behind the curtain right but the Biden administration is coming out hard against the Saudis. And um, it's I love to see this happening on both fronts, that fighting for the release of individuals is not thus far coming at the cost of protecting millions. I saw some commentary, you know, directly thanking Joe Biden, you know, so... It's not just, uh, I'm not sure who it was. I don't think it was Lujan, but it's not just that people are perceiving it to be Biden, you know, adjacent. The receiving end people are also as well, you know, and people in the country. So we'll see. I mean, I'm glad that he's holding their feet to the fire with Yemen. I'm glad that for her that this is happening. It must feel really good to be, you know, released, regardless of whether you still have some probation that may be unfair or not. I mean, she's, you can see it in the photos that she just seems radiant with happiness of her that I've seen since she's yeah, been released. Yeah, this was a, um, some photos that her sister posted today, actually. Um, and I'm so happy to see her free i mean i can't imagine what she's been through and you know so correct me if i'm wrong um she was arrested um shortly before they actually made women be able to drive she was kidnapped outside of saudi arabia and then brought to jail even though driving became legal they still took her to prison and tortured her yes Right. So she was um, essentially kidnapped from the UAE back to Saudi. And then um, a few months after, like a, basically like within two months, if not less of her arrest, that's when the regime made it legal for women to drive. Yeah, basically, um, basically the message is that we would we when we make something legal it will be on our terms you will still be punished for speaking out um, yes. that um was, yeah. and the change comes from the top down you don't get to fight for change the regime yeah. decides what's change is right. um and also it's a way for them to claim the shine of being reformers um the thing is her husband was also essentially kidnapped from Jordan. So her husband is a, um, a a Saudi comedian. And I was reading about his situation earlier today. So um, it is rumored that he was pressured into divorcing her um, in about 2018, um, likely shortly after she was arrested. Um, and I don't know what his whereabouts are. So what I've read is that he was essentially kidnapped from Jordan back to Saudi. And I was this, looking for news about him today. I can't find anything about his whereabouts. All right, but let, let's, Did yeah, he just, divorce her? Yes. Just curious. This, just to be clear, we're not, suggesting, we're not suggesting anything. We just don't know. Yeah, no, but that's my question. What, where I, is I know, I just, because sometimes I just want to be careful because sometimes there are some people who um, ask a question without answering it, but they're saying something without acting like they're saying something. Okay, we, we're not. We actually just generally, we just don't know. Um, so, I, right? Am I? Is that I, was, I was looking for I information about him today. I couldn't find 
I mean, right. he could just be keeping a low profile. All his social media is deleted. Right, right, right. Yeah, maybe that's just it. All, all, all I could find was information about him being taken from Jordan, but then I couldn't find information about what happened afterwards. So he, right. for all I know, but, he could be free, but I'm like, what? Yeah, but there are many explanations for that. We, 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 what we don't know is what we don't know. We're speculating, right? I guess, would be the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just... Um, I just want to be careful with like not suggesting something. Sorry, I, I might. Be, I know I'm being too careful. I might seem being too careful. I've just, I've seen a lot. Okay, um, people just use our skeptic, uh, use their content creators' uh, skepticism to just fill in the holes sometimes, right? So mm -hmm. I just, just uh, I need to be careful with that. Um, I do want to mention that these are the people that move history, okay, forward. Mm -hmm. um, these are the people who take uh, personal risks to their own lives, to their own safety, to their own happiness for the sake of everyone else. And if you think that's uncalled for and people shouldn't do that, you're an ungrateful idiot who doesn't understand that every single right that you enjoy right now, wherever you are, is because somebody at some point decided to risk their lives, their happiness, and their safety for your sake. And now any sense of safety, um, any sense of uh, any right that you enjoy today, any sense of security that you have, uh, any time that you get to say something uh, that challenges the standard narrative without any pushback from the government, um, and any time that you have any, any even the smallest amount to say uh, in how the government is run, even if it's small, is because somebody at some point decided to do what this uh, woman did here. So you need to be grateful, okay? Um, I do also have, I wanna mention that uh, she's not free. She's yeah. not been freed. Um, she's released this... from prison. Yeah, right. So she's, she's not incarcerated in jail, but she's not mm -hmm. free. Yes. Yeah, so they basically um, try to sometimes um, send a sense of um, signal to the world, a sense of somebody like has been freed, but they're heavily monitored. They're outside of the jail. They can't leave the country. So technically, they're in a still in in, in a different kind of jail. Uh, and they could go back at any time and you know she needs to get out of the, she needs to get out of there okay and they know that if she gets out of there she's she's going to be a major liability to them so technically she's still in jail maybe not a literal jail but she's still in jail so that's um and she needs to get free free not just mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. out of jail free um another thing i want to point out is that this does show that pressure works um you know so for the people who feel like well this is how things are um no pressure by somebody like uh, again this is multiple uh, multiple degrees of pressure right so biden administration pressuring saudi arabia it does produce results so it's not like the saudis do whatever they want without any without external forces not having any influence the, there are many examples like this that show that there's some influence but also your pressure works because the reason why Biden even gives a crap about this is because of all the activists that decided to make it, to push um, the Biden administration for making this an issue for the Biden administration, right? So all the small little activists here and there that cont contributed to make to raising this issue, they pushed Biden and Biden pushed Saudi Arabia. So don't tell me you can't do anything, that we have zero influence, oh, this sucks, but what can we do? These are examples of the fact that you can do things, okay? And one last thing, is, two, two last things, uh, uh, no, just one, uh, is that uh, please understand that the people, uh, you know, Saudi, Saudi's government and Mohammed bin Salman, um, they are garbage human beings and they're monsters. And when it comes to human rights, uh, very little progress has been made because this is one person. Uh, the, um, the Saudi's government is responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands of people uh, mm -hmm. within their borders, but especially in Yemen, um, mostly in Yemen, um, and the starvation of children, torture, uh, crucifixion, um, beheadings, uh, way more than ISIS and Al the other group. I, we're not going to mention the names because of YouTube standard rules and stuff um study government is way more worse than all of those combined um and is it is it a contradiction for us to highlight the fact 
that this is one person compared to all those other people that Saudi government has harmed um, while we celebrate this? No, there's no, because some people think that you, you could either do one. You could either, you could point to the fact that this is just one person that just got free, uh, one person that was being tortured, uh, that is getting a lot of highlight, but many hundreds of other thousands of people who are being tortured and killed by the Saudi government, they're not getting any attention. Um, they think that's one side, and the other side is the people who are celebrating this woman's release. And they think that you can't do that at the same time. No, you could do those both of those things at the same time. You could celebrate this woman's release, you could be happy about it, and you could also be part of the activism, activism that will contribute to her release. Um, and you could also be like, by the way, this is one individual, there are hundreds of other thousands of other people, uh, many of them children who are suffering out of the from this. Uh, one of them is not trying to take the attention to the other one, uh, take attention away the, from the other one. You could do both at the same time. Anyways, Rivka. Um, two things. So I liked how you really highlighted how so many things come down to the action of individuals. Because so many of us feel like the actions that we take don't make a difference, but they do just in a lot of ways. And often it's these small, seemingly unnoticed people plugging away at something that ends up actually, you know, the water doesn't go through the rock because it's stronger. It goes through the rock because it's persistent. So um, I think that that's important. And then I wanted to say that sometimes Highlighting just one individual actually benefits the greater amount of individuals who may not have the highlight because it gives a personal story to that that then people can empathize with or have compassion for. And then often those reflect, especially if you're talking journalistically or somebody talking about it, about all the others, you know. So once you hear about one, then you have more of a potentiality to hear about the others and to be concerned about it or to pay attention to it. All right, we should go to the next news. Um, yeah. Can we? I, I my final note is that I th okay. I am my sincerest hope under the Biden administration is that more um, and more political prisoners within Saudi are released yes and also we hope that biden continues to pressure saudi arabia to end the war in yemen as well mm -hmm. um, and ditto for me too great yeah good good addition and also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms at least we could reach out to you and guys by the way if you subscribe to our newsletter you get a free copy uh, why there's not? Where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free. It's not even promotion. It's free. Okay. So if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on. Like I'm handing it out for free. Okay. It's a bestseller on Amazon, and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter, and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.